Written and directed by a team of Oscar winners, Skyfall promises much, and at the South African premiere, Simba could feel it in the air. 50 years of Bond, 23 movies. I'm here at the Zone in Rosebank for the very first ever Bond premiere right here in South Africa. From the gadgets to the fast cars, and of course my favorite, the beautiful ladies. And I get the privilege to meet my very first Bond girl tonight. I'm not sure if I'm shaken or stirred just at the thought of it. Director Sam Mendes said if he could invent a Bond girl, French actress Berenice Marlowe would be the one. Mr. Bond. James Bond. Berenice, I must say first of all, welcome to Toppling and welcome to South Africa. Thank you so much. Um, how does it feel to know that you are the Bond girl for the highest grossing Bond movie ever? Oh, well, you know, that's a, a big honor to be part of a Bond movie. They are so iconic and unique and magical. I feel very happy. What was it like to work with Daniel Craig? It was great, it was great. You know, he's a brilliant actor, very talented. And more than that, he's a beautiful human being with a wonderful sense of humor, so we had a wonderful time. Who's your favorite Bond of all time? Mm, beside uh, Daniel Craig? <laughs> It will be Sean Connery. When did you get hooked on Bond? Roger Moore era, that's when I really started watching, but I'm a big Pierce Brosnan fan, and I've always been a big fan, and all the gadgets, the nice cars, the beautiful ladies, yeah. the exotic places he goes to, big fan. Ladies, what do you think of the whole Bond franchise? Uh, I think it's absolutely amazing. Every Bond guy's been sexy, every Bond guy stood out. Um, if you have to ask me um, any of my favorites, there isn't one here. It's Simba, I think you'd make the perfect Bond guy. What do you think, London? I think, so too. I think you should be the next Bond. I think you guys could be my next Bond girls. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Favorite Bond? Daniel Craig, because he's a little bit rough and he's not scared to step outside the box. For you, Jeremy, favorite Bond girl? My favorite oh. Bond girl? This one. She's ah. my Bond. <laughs> I think Daniel Craig really captures the role very well, but um, I feel he takes his shirt off too much, and that makes men like me feel very inadequate. I think Daniel Craig encapsulates the role really well, but he takes his shirt off too little, so I would prefer it to be taken off more. And to think we're family. What do you say about a man like that? Three months ago, you lost the drive containing the identity of every agent embedded in terrorist organizations across the globe. I made a judgment call. There isn't much road left. Take the shot. To get the lowdown, Jeannie went straight to the source and met 007 in London, though happily not at MI6 headquarters. Daniel Craig, welcome to Top Billing. Nice to it's be the here. 50th anniversary of Bond. What do you think has made Bond relevant and sexy and still so appealing 50 years on? Open with a hard one, why don't you? Um, <laughs> I think that the films have always been consistently kind of just great and entertaining and fun and, and in their own way. And people have grown up with them and, and, and have very strong memories, especially of going to see films with their families. And I think when you have kids, you kind of do the same thing. And we've tried to do with this movie with Skyfall is, is represent the, that 50 years and, and give people a lot of what they want, but also give them a strong story, something emotional and exciting and, uh, and a great James Bond movie, hopefully. 007 reporting for duty. Where the hell have you been? Enjoying death. Now, when I tweeted that I was coming to interview you, um, I asked who's everybody's favorite Bond of all time. The winner, of course, was you. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> who's been your favorite Bond of all time, and what kind of pressure, I suppose, if any, have you had to, to be the Bond? <laughs> to be Bond? <laughs> um, Sean's always going to be, you know, he, 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 he kind of set the tone. They've all been great in their own way, and in fact that, I think, has been one of the reasons why it's lasted so long, because each individual actor has b brought their own thing to it. You know, Roger Moore was my, my Bond. I grew up with him, so I've got a, very, a big soft spot for him. Something I think that you have brought to Bond is that human element where he's still so strong and can still shoot somebody, you know, in, without emotion. But then in this film, you do have a bit of emotion. I, no one told me I couldn't. <laughs> I, just, I don't know where the rule book was that he's not allowed. I, I mean, look, he's Bond. I mean, I, he's not, this isn't a big kind of emotional piece. It's not like we've made some heavy drama. It's, but there's a good story there, and I, I think that, you know, 
he reacts to it. And I, I, what I like about him is that you know he he gets knocked down and uh, he gets back up, and that that's an interesting process to look at him uh, and do that. How much do you know about fear? All there is. Not like this. Not like him. Just look at you, chasing spies. England, the Empire. And my six. So old-fashioned. Whose decision was it for you to go blonde? <laughs> <laughs> Both of us, Sam and I, the director and I, we were discussing because he said to me this word that I thought it was very helpful, which is the idea, the basic idea of creating uh, uncomfortableness to the other person that you're talking to. It has to be also in the physicality, and then we look, we look for some ideas and some photos, and then it came out like that. It was just absolutely extraordinary how, and forgive me for saying, but all your movies, use, you know, can be so handsome, and then when we saw you in Bond, I thought... What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I suppose that was the character. Yeah. Now, also, his anger and his hatred was very directed. What was the, the start of that, I suppose? Bomb villains in itself are a genre. And that means that you have to create somebody that is between uh, reality and fiction. So, in other words, you, can really, you have to really be grounded to Earth and be believable. But at the same time, you are allowed to fly a little bit up because that's what people expect you to do. And that was the challenging, how to mix both things. So in one way it will be very theatrical, in the other, way, in the other moment it will be very real, realistic. And that was the, the combination that I thought it was very challenging and very fun to play. Well, you put on a fantastic performance. It was really great. It was a good bond. <laughs> Thank you very much. Combining the exotic with a homegrown British star Naomi Harris plays 007's fellow agent Eve. Naomi, welcome to Top Billing. Thank so you. You were recently in South Africa. Yes. For what? I was playing um, Winnie Mandela in uh, Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. Now, from Winnie Mandela to the Bond Girl. Yes. <laughs> that Quite a was, contrast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in the world of espionage, I believe that you had to keep it a secret when you were initially cast. Yeah, I did. Why, Why is about, that? It was about two to three months that I had to keep it a secret. It was really, really difficult. Um, I was cast uh, a long time before they made the announcement, um, and I had to start training, uh, which is, I think, one of the reasons why I was cast so early. Uh, but I was told that I couldn't tell anybody, and somehow it got leaked to the press, and so there were all these kind of journalists asking me questions about it and I had to say no I'm just auditioning but I haven't got it yet so I had to lie it was it was very difficult and obviously there had to be quite a few months of training beforehand because I kept on looking at your body in the film and you looked so strong and Thank you. you're driving you're a worse driver than I am <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be good that was my best driving so what kind of pressure did you feel when you know you're a bond girl um, a lot of pressure actually because I grew up you know, watching Bond movies and loving them. And there are very set ideas about what it means to be a Bond girl, Bond woman, you know. And I knew about those. And in the beginning, I felt really constrained by them and felt like I had to live up to this kind of long legacy. But it was great because Sam said, you know, just forget about all of that. And, you know, we cast you because we want you to make it original and make it your own and just have fun with it. So that's what I did. I'm your new quartermaster. You must be joking. Also PPKS 9mm short. It's been coded to your palm print, so only you can fire it. Less of a random killing machine, more of a personal statement. Q. 007. Watching the movie unfold, I felt like I was watching one of the old films because there was so much humour and it, it was just brilliant. So right. why the decision, I suppose, to bring in a bit of that vintage feel into the film? I don't think it was a real decision. It was just a... a uh, I mean, I had long conversations with Sam very early on about how I envisage things and he, he certainly felt the same way that what we loved about the early films and, and many of the other films is the style and, and that style that's so unusual but we had to sort of reinvent it and make it modern and, and, and you know everything from the suits and the girls dresses to the sets and, and the music it's all it all has to tie in very 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 well and work and it doesn't always happen that way so it wasn't sort of about making it a vintage bond it was about making it a very modern bond but with uh, with all the kind of just the kind of the, the, I don't know, the sweetness of the old ones. Mm. 
Well, it was an absolutely brilliant film. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's still my dream to be a Bond girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. There's an application for that side. <laughs> Daniel Craig has just signed on for another two Bond films, so Liam Moll is a good chance you'll get to see him with his shirt off more often.